All right, so we did uh, a PowerPoint on the uh, black footed uh, ferret. Okay, so uh, its range was originally uh, between Southern Canada and Northern Mexico, but uh, it was, it's been uh, decreased over the past hundred years, um, but now they're starting to reintroduce them to uh, various states and their former range, uh, as you can see in this picture on the bottom left. Uh, the primary habitat for the uh, ferret uh, is grasslands, um, because uh, that's where uh, their main food source, uh, the prairie dog, lives. Um, which about 90% of its uh, diet comes from uh, prairie dogs. And then uh, the other 10% is made up of other small mammals, uh, birds, and insects. And they have extremely high metabolism, so they eat like a massive amount of food relative to their size. Um, they usually eat a prairie dog about every uh, one or two days. Uh, an interesting behavior or a couple interesting behaviors uh, that the ferrets uh, partake in is that uh, they're extremely playful um, doing stuff like a ferret dance uh, in which they like arch their backs and uh, hop backwards. Um, but they're also a very vocal animal uh, that communicates with a variety of different noises, including hisses and whimpers. The main threat to the black footed ferrets, uh, well, other than the, the decrease of their habitat, was the sylvatic plague. And it was a disease that was brought in by humans that wasn't native to their area. And so it really devastates their population. But more than anything, it devastates the population of prairie dogs, which is their main source of food. And so then they began to die out. And the grasslands where they live is the most endangered ecosystem in North America from every possible thing you can think about fires, agriculture, and urbanization. And so they really have almost no habitat to live in anymore and no food to survive off of. Uh, there's something called the Black Footed Ferret Species Survival Plan. It's uh, they, they start making plans for when animals start becoming endangered and, and they have six facilities across the U.S. that are, they mostly uh, breed the ferrets in captivity so that they can survive at almost a 100% survival rate and then they can reintroduce them back into, into the environment and the ones that they can't reintroduce back into the environment they put in display in zoos around the world so that people can learn about them and there can be more awareness about their species. And they've also been uh, trying to make a vaccine for the sylvatic plague so that the prairie dog population can rise so that they can continue to have food. And uh, this is a drawing with some of the common traits of the black-footed ferret. Uh, here are the citations.